This is for Brenda, just for you. I have two different contour colors. I have one that's used for color correction when I have really red spots here. Um, otherwise, I don't usually use it. But we talked about the contour, which is the dark color, which I have right here. So I'm going to put this. This one I'm going to put along my hairline here. I'm going to put it right here. And I'm going to put it under here. And I'm just using a little brush. It's not the ones that they make, they want you to buy. So, it, but it's a dense brush, a little bit denser. It's really flexible too. And I kind of do it in a dabbing like this. It looks really dark, but it'll blend in really well. I'm just following under my natural jawline. Oh, cheekbone line, not jawline. So it looks dark, but it will blend in, I promise. See, that's a little darker up here than it looks because of the shadow or the light. Now, because it's cream, I do let it sit a minute while I go on and move on to the rest of my stuff. So I'm just cleaning my brush real quick before I move into my highlight since it is a lighter color. Now, this is my highlight right here. It's my light one. It looks really yellow. I use that under my eyes and in here and along the top of my nose. Pardon me, I have to get a little closer. really yellow right now it's not that bad and I come down a little bit so try and in here all the way up to the eye line okay. now I use that same one here I am not using very much at all. Okay, clean that brush. 
brush off again. This one, it's like a foundation brush. Not very, very big, but it's a little nice and fluffy. This one, I use my main, this is my main color here. As you can see, I use it a little more. In fact, I already have a backup. There it is, backup right there. So this one, I put here in between these two. I do have really red spots here. And I'm going to put blush on here, but and along the sides of the nose. Some people do a highlight right here to emphasize the nose, I guess. I don't know. But I don't do that. So it's not complete coverage yet until after I blend it. So right now I look kind of clowny. Clean my brush again. All I'm using right now is just a washcloth and I rub it back and forth trying to get, get it clean. <clears throat> until I drop it. And I am in no way a professional here. So where's my blush? This is my blush brush. Okay. Nothing fancy, but I'm putting it into my black cherry right there. Looks really dark. It doesn't look anywhere near as bad or dark when I have it on. So I'm just gently dab, dab, dab. Really light. Right here, and bring it up. Again, looks really dark. It's not that bad. This works good because I have that red spots right there. So it makes it so that you can't see. It blends that red really well. So it looks really dark, especially this side. But it'll work out. So I'll just put a little bit here. So as I said, kind of looks like a clown. I have that, that contours all the way up here. Which you can see when I put the so contour I have along the hairline. Then I have my main colors here. That highlight I put here. And I mean, you can see here I don't have anything. It's not complete until after I blend it all in. Contour here, along here, blush. Okay. And I understand I had nothing on before this. Now I use, supposedly this is like a brush. I bought it from Bare Minerals. I guess that's backwards, but it's just a dense brush. And I use that to blend. So I'm going to start at the top and I use little circles. Circle, 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 blend. And that blends right into my hairline, blends in that foundation, the, the main core coverage, and that highlight. Blend, blend, blend. Down my nose, under my eye. Doesn't hurt. 
hard to go over my eye too, but it just makes it easier. Still kind of look clowny with that blush, but blind, blind, blind. Blending that contouring. Thank you. 